All right, so in this video, I'm going to install the 850-watt semi-hybrid EVGA power supply in an RX 5500. Now, I can't stress enough that you probably should not follow in my footsteps. You could potentially damage your Dell Inspiron 3670. And in no shape or form will you ever need 850 watts for a Dell Inspiron 3670. Now, uh, potentially could need 600, 650 watts. And if you watch my power supply video, yeah, I suggest a 100 watt buffer a lot of times after you do your calculations. Uh, if you can find a graphics card that you would actually need that kind of additional power. So, in this case, though, there is a 750 watt version of this. I um, only have the 850 EVJ if you're out there. Hey, send me, a, send me some more. Um, yeah, like they'll send me anything. But uh, this power supply, the reason I want to use it is to demonstrate a semi-hybrid power supply. Okay, so semi-hybrid, in case you're not familiar with it. Um, basically, a lot of your items uh, will plug into it, okay? So, take for example, here's your uh, SATA cables, right? Usually, these are uh, tied into your power supply. In this case, they will, they will actually plug in there, right? So, somewhere in there, maybe that at the end of this would have been soldered. But in this case, it connects with a connector. So... The majority of your um, peripherals are going to be done that way. Now, the main stuff, um, your 24-pin connector, it's hardwired still. Okay. And then there is uh, one graphics card connector that is on here. Now, if I, if I had multiple graphics cards, which you can't do with this setup, um, this would have another rail uh, that would have that on there. Okay. So... This is this is complete overkill for this, um, but I just because of how the uh, the ugliness of the 600 watt looked, I'm hoping this will look cleaner inside there. Okay, so if you guys remember the 600 watt installation, we had this is a regular power supply, right? Everything's hardwired in there, and uh, you get this big mess, and it didn't look so pretty. So we're trying something different. All right, folks. Uh, good news. Unlike the 600 watt power supply. I don't actually need the standoffs to get this in. There's actually clearance here, so they've moved the power plug more towards the center, where when you do the 600 watt and 500 watt, it obstructs uh, this. So, hence why in other videos you see me use the standoffs. And I may have uh, noted those in the beginning of this, but we do not need them uh, in this installation. All right, so I, um, I'm actually pretty happy about that. And of course, we uh, can't use do this with uh, one hand. All right, so I have fastened uh, four spots. And once again, this is the 850-watt EVGA bronze power supply. So 80-plus uh, bronze, 850BQ. Now, this, uh, this power supply isn't cheap, folks. There is a 750-watt one. Uh, which may have the same bolt pattern and, and not cause the same issues. The other thing is this thing wasn't cheap. I think I spent $109 on this. Um, and obviously this is better for a serious gaming computer instead of uh, the Dell Inspiron 3670. But uh, I just wanted to show another method, uh, what it would look like with the, uh, the semi-hybrid power supply. And if you don't know what semi-hybrid is, um, that means all, a lot of the connectors actually um, plug into this thing. So let's go ahead and look at it. It's still going to be a mess. Maybe not as bad as the uh, 600 watt. But uh, okay, so a lot of the power uh, cables are, are still here. But all your peripherals, um, they are actually, uh, they'll plug in right there so we don't have to have um you know a whole bunch like uh two sets of sata power we don't have to have two sets of moleds okay 
So in this case, I don't need uh, MOLEDs. So we, sh we should end up with a few less cables. Now I'm still going to have to stuff them all in there and it's still going to look kind of ugly. But uh, at least, you know, there'll be a few less. And hey, I'm making another video showing the 850 watt. Um, so other things to talk about this power supply. If you're going to do this long term, consider drilling some holes in this. Um, get some of this hot air from the power supply. Now this is definitely going to be hotter than the other power supplies. Get some of that hot air out of here. Uh, ideally, we would have been able to uh, mount it the other way and have the hot air, uh, you know, blow basically into the graphics card. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But uh, you'd have to either create your own mounting plate, which is doable, or um, drill, you know, drill additional holes in here, which which could be done. Um, but me, uh, I'm not sure I want to doctor this thing up too much because uh, one day I'll probably sell it. So another advantage of this power supply, beyond the fact that it's got a ridiculous amount of power for what we need, is these bolt holes line up perfect, um, and the power plug actually clears the frame, okay? None of the other power supplies have I ever tried, uh, except for the ASUS 365-watt one, ever cleared that frame. So I'm able to get all four screws in here, which is nice. Now negative... It is not um, mounted so that the fan blows uh, outwards. Um, when I say outwards. So the fan is uh, blowing into, unfortunately, the frame. So if you don't care about your Dell Inspiron 3670, put some holes in here somehow. Get some of that hot air out of there. Uh, ideally, maybe you'd put a mounting plate in here and uh, mount this so it's facing this way. All right. But uh, in this case, um, we couldn't get that done. So you could possibly drill uh, different holes in here as well. Um, but the, some kind of mounting bracket, I said mounting plate, but mounting bracket might work a little better. All right, so if you've ripped your, uh, your other power supply out, um, sorry I didn't show that in this video, but it was already out. Uh, check out my 600 watt one in case you need complete step-by-step step to that point so this is your uh, CPU power connector we're gonna take this and uh, hook this guy onto it now this goes on a certain way okay so you see that thing that sticks out um, you got to line that up with those guys so I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed but uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I do it all right so I've got it lined up and they will snap in there boom that's done okay so we eventually will want to put all this mess over here. Um, it would be nice if we could use some zip ties and make it look prettier, but probably not going to happen. So what I do have here is an extra CPU cable, which we don't need. Um, that's one of the benefits of this power supply. If you build your own gaming computer, you could potentially um, do some serious overclocking. That was the whole point of getting this power supply. All right, so we got that done. Here is our GPU connector. We'll use this in a little bit when we get the power supply in. 24 pin, okay. So I've already put it in. Here is your uh, 24 to 8 pin. Hopefully I have a link down below. You definitely will need this, this to make it work. These also go on here uh, only one way. You gotta look for uh, that gizmo uh, and line it up with that one right there where my thumb is, all right? And voila, that's in there. Um, it actually stamped. Um, so we're good to go there. Now we just gotta put the graphics card in. All right, here's our RX 5500. And uh, assuming this guy fits, now make sure that you, um, this guy, you know, you have to unscrew it before you put it in there. Um, and we line up the uh, PCI Express connector, it snaps in, boom. And on this side, we would put that uh, screw back in. Okay, I'm not gonna show you that. Over here though, we do need to power up our graphics card. So we need a uh, eight pin. You see there's eight pins there, don't plug in six. Um, so just so you know, the PCI Express gives you up to 75 watts. 
If this was a six pin, you'd get another um, 75 watts. An eight pin should be 150. Okay, so it, potentially this graphics card could use up to um, 225 watts, okay, which definitely is more power than the uh, what you what you currently would have had if you didn't upgrade the power supply. All right, so we're ready to fire this up. Safety things. So, um, one, make sure your cables do not hit those fans, all right? They will uh, stop the uh, graphics card from spinning. Um, somehow, you know, go back and tie these together nice and tight, and uh, maybe you'll find something in there you can tie it to, but make sure it stays away from the, uh, the fan at the time of uh, startup. All right, so this thing's good to go like this. You know, I used to have the top spot on the uh, the user benchmark uh, benchmarks for this computer. I lost it. There's a ton of people that are higher than me now. I can use my uh, PCI ribbon cable with this setup, and we can go really heavy duty on a graphics card, right? So I can plug this in, plug it into the graphics card, power up the the GPU and have this card, one that's much longer than this case, have that thing sitting up here and we can be cranking away, right? I can get that top spot back. Now, why would I want to do that? I don't know, just because. Go ahead and fire it up. I gotta make sure I turn the power supply on in the back. And we've got lights, sound, and what do we got? What do we got? There's the Dell logo. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we're logged in. Now, I'm probably not going to run the um, benchmark for y'all because uh, guess what? This has uh, a Celeron in it now. I took the CPU out and we uh, took the CPU out and uh, it's not quite what you would hope for. So, one thing that you have to do um, before you move on, you notice down there, if you see that little symbol there, and you're using an HDMI cable, um, most likely that means that you do not have drivers. So what we're going to do is type in RX 5500 drivers. And that'll take us to uh, this page here. And this, oh, sorry, this is an XT. Gotta go back. You know, it's kind of confusing how the 4 gig model is uh, actually got. All right, so click on driver support. And we come down here. We're looking at graphics. Usually I use a screensaver to do this, folks. Sorry. AMD RX 5500 Series XT. Submit. And that's going to bring these up. No thanks. I'm not giving you feedback. All right. So there's our driver. I'm going to download this. And uh, I'm going to spare you guys um, from it. But... I would click run here and boom, we'd be good, right? So that's all you got to do, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.